Hi, I'm Tony and this is the Suzuki V-Strom 800DE that I've been running for most of this summer and this is Ant-Man, our warehouse wizard at Sports Bike Shop. Hello. And this is his 1290S Adventure KTM. Looking forward to today? Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, so can't say we're riding off road because everything we do today, we're gonna to be on roads. They're just gonna be dirt roads like this. Unmaintained county roads, we're in Norfolk and the plan is to have some fun and find out what this bike's like when it comes off the tarmac. So, let's hope we have a good day. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, let's just double check settings quickly. Good, Traction good. control mode. Gravel, there's gravel mode. Drive mode C, yeah. Oh, I've got ABS mode of one and two available now. Oh, ABS off rear, lovely, that's for off road, isn't it? Ready? I'm ready. You're like a kid playing in puddles, aren't you? Yeah, some puddles are all right, <laughs> but some of them you want to go, oh no, I'm not going to go through that one. Oh, yeah. Kick, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know about squirrels running out, but that was squirrely. Yeah, that was a bit slippery, that was. <laughs> uh, that was uh, quite significantly out of line. <laughs> that. Jeez, this looks a bit deep. <laughs> See how we go? You take the right, I'll take the left. Here we go. Oy! I see a jet wash somewhere in our future. It's like a sexy sort of OnlyFans sports bike shop video going on there. Yeah. Some sort of like hot oh. chocolate music. <laughs> Where you come from, baby? <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets a little bit sunny down here. Yeah, this is pretty sketchy. Woo. Oh. You alright? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's well slippy down in the deep. I'm coming up on that line you're on. It's even, I think it's a little bit worse, dear. Okay, alright, I will... I'll go middle for diddle then and hope that I stay upright. I'm just going to sit my ass down. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like riding on a beach! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to sit my ass down on this. Need Joel's Mablethorpe skills. Wow. Hey. <laughs> so when you start crabbing and you're going sideways but forward, that's when that's funny. I can't even see where you are anyway. Just here. Yeah, I've had a bit of crabbing. Gotta be careful with big deep ruts and you're not to clonk your foot pegs out. Yeah, there's some of them you can see, you, you, you can sort of almost see like a shadow and you're like, yeah, gonna go around that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go around that. I don't wanna be rounding a foot peg on that. Just wouldn't have thought that would be motorbike territory down there, would you? No, it's like I say, it's, it's, it's one of those um, unmaintained, so I think the council will just let it just get overgrown and... 
Yeah. Probably not not a lot of people probably use it, and it just it essentially almost just ceases to exist. Yeah. And then the the walkers uh, sort of try and claim rights to it. Yeah. No no motorbike or off road vehicle uses it, so we'll uh, we'll just uh, yeah change change the right of ways and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. We're protecting it then, as a road. Yeah, yeah. You know, say, if, you, if you use it responsibly, then uh, yeah, they will stay open for the next generation of people. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Said, boy, nearly chewed it. Oh, that one. Moving over to avoid this. Not going to be avoiding this one, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, but that was right over my feet. Oh. You alright? Yeah, I think so, just about, yeah. Just about made it through there. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going straight over. Ooh, look at that, lovely jubbly. Oh, I'm in a rut, I'm in a rut, I'm in a rut. <laughs> Hey, hey. And he's through. He saved it. Right. right. We're going left, my friend. Left. Left. Left it is. Very Massingham, Village Green. Got some ducks for company, got the RAF for company, who obviously know we're here and come out and give us our own special flyby. Special flyby. They keep coming past, so you may well hear them rumbling. So, how's your morning been? Brilliant. Really good so far. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. It's been good, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Bikes have, bikes have been, well, mine's been surprisingly good. Really steady and stable and happy with that. Put knobblies on before we did this. I put some Metas E09 Dakar. Been really stable and steady and really enjoyable. So what's next? A few more off-road routes and then yeah. head, head into Pedder's Way. Pedder's Way. And then straight up to Hunstanton. Hunstanton. And what's in Hunstanton? Chips. Chips. <laughs> It's getting wild again. Yeah. Proper challenge though, mate. It's good. Harder than I expected it to be when you think that it's all like maintained or unmaintained roads. Yeah. You think that would be pretty simple stuff. But this is challenging enough. We're going to go straight up. Back on the road. Right, we're going to do a left turn and then this is Pedder's Way again. Straight, straight, straight. Well, this is a bit of a gravel pitch. Yeah, hey! This is, this is, I think this is what they class as maintained. <laughs> wow. This is cool. I like riding through here. Dirt riding on an adventure bike. This is ideal. How many V-Strom 800 DE owners do you think will explore something like this? Will leave the uh, tarmac? Maybe 70, 30? 70, 30, 30 off. 30, 30% of people. Yeah. Well, where do we go here then? Uh, right and then left. Boot, 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 boot. 
think it's changing? Do you think more people will venture off them now? Do you think things like ABR Festival and stuff are encouraging people to do more of this? Yeah. I think it's, it's just having the, uh, the ability to look to see where you can go. And, uh, I think that's the blockage, that people don't yeah. know where to ride. It's not like you can just punch into a sat-nav and say, take me, but you can do that on the road, or for a, well, these sort of roads, you can't really do that. No. It's not easy access, is it? No, like you say, you can download routes from people that have been there previously, but the problem yep. is, oh, there's someone in front of me. The yeah. problem is, is that um, you'll have a route that goes from somewhere where you can't, but they assume they can go there because they've been there for so many years. Yeah. Never actually, never actually got caught doing it. Right. Doesn't mean they're allowed. It's get caught. Yeah, it means like I say they just never got caught. Thank you. Hello, boy. Hello, buddy. Good boy. Thanks, mate. Thank you. It's, 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 it's those sort of things as well. It's those encounters like we just met that lady. That she might right. be looking at looking at us right now, going, "What the chuff are they doing down here?" Yeah, because she's never seen it. Because she may have never seen a bike down here. She may not actually know the. Uh, it, at the end of it, at the end of the day, it's just been like one hundred percent respectful. Because because what it is is nine times out of ten, they literally don't know. They they don't know what. The right is, yeah, and and then I say once you show them, they uh, they go, oh right, sorry mate, I didn't didn't realise that. Contact the local authorities, the local council, and just ask for advice, really. Yeah, am They've I got... allowed to go up there? Yeah, can you confirm? Yeah. Do you think another barrier to people wanting to do stuff like this is the potential cost of it? Do you think people are worried about? bring in an expensive asset, yeah. some of this cost them a lot of money on, on a surface like this. Yeah. Once you put some proper protection on these things, they are generally bulletproof. It doesn't bother you, you're not, you're not, you're not riding today going, oh, oh, hey, whatever, no. drop it, whatever, drop it. No, it's, I've dropped this once already and it's sort of, it bounced and there's nothing broken, so. It's uh, it's just it's go, it's one of them one of them things where you just um, do it do it in your in, within your um, ability. We going around here a bit. Oops, sorry, Tony. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you pick a line. I'll deal with it. <laughs> yeah. And and like I say, once you once you've got a certain technique that you use to pick bikes up. <laughs> it, 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 it generally, this thing here, when I dropped it the other day, right, once you've got a technique, drop, people drop, once you've got a technique, there he is, yeah. pick up. <laughs> Let's not demonstrate that as part nah. of today's job. No, that's, no, we're not going to do that. Well, try and not, not to demonstrate it anyway. Oh, foliage down, foliage down. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, that's a sh conjunction of ruts there. And here, oh, yay. These are deep. Oh yeah, right in the face. Yeah, I've had a few. Oof. Stay in that one, that's it. Still on Pedder's way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, still on Pedder's way. Right, you're Just look at that view in front of you. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Ooh, funny. Bit bumpy than I remember. Alright, come on, Anthony. Swirl! 
Turn right. Turn right, not left. Turn right, not left. Come on, mate. Right, not left. He's turned left. Yeah. Well, that shortened his life a little bit. Alright, that is pretty much all of it. Alright. So here we are, Hunstanton, Bloody Sea. This is the only place in Britain, I believe, no, on the east coast of Britain, where you can see the sun go down over the sea. How's that for today's boring Hunstanton fact? So here we are, here we are, Hunstanton. How long does it normally take to get from King's Lynn to Hunstanton, would you say? 45 minutes? 40 minutes, yeah. 40 minutes, 45 yeah. minutes? Yeah, if... maybe three hours on a bank holiday. Oh yeah, three hours on a bank holiday. So if someone said it had taken you seven hours to get from King's Lynn to Hunstanton, what would you think? That would have been a bad day. Epically bad day. On a normal road, it would have been a bad day. But it took us seven hours to get from King's Lynn to Hunstanton today. And what sort of day do you reckon we had today? Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely loved every second of it. Epically good day, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. You had some fun? Had lots of fun. Yeah. What did you think to your bike? Amazing. For a great big lump, it handled it really well. Yeah, it looked it. it. looked like you knew what you were doing with it. Whenever you even just to give it a little bang, it would bang, it was starting to move and get away. Yeah. I didn't yeah, have that it. with this, thankfully. C mode, gravel mode for traction control. That's G for gravel, I'm assuming it's for gravel. Yeah. Uh, turn off the ABS on the back brake. I've done days of trail riding before, done days of green laning before. I had a Triumph Tiger 800 XC and I tried to take it along the Viking Way. I mostly found it really frustrating because I'd get a little bit of off-road and then road, try and find another bit of trail and it's frustrating. That's, that's, that's probably the hardest bit is finding a substantial loop. Yeah. Where it's mostly off and a little bit of road. My but sense of direction is really bad, which doesn't help. Um, but if, if genuinely today it's been great because it just feels like there's been long sections that really some seem... really long sections you can just get your teeth into. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not like oh start finish. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's been really really good fun. Thank you for guiding me around. Thank you for inviting me. Everyone needs an ant man. Just get yourself an ant man. He'll take you around. He'll do all the research. He'll recce the route. He'll take you out for the day. And it's been really really good fun. Yeah. And now we're in Hunstanton. There's only one thing you can do when you're in Hunstanton with a motorcycle and you've got that view, isn't there? Yeah. Chips. Chips. Hi, it's me again. I didn't go into full detail about what I'd done to this bike to make it ready for a day of riding in the dirt. So I mentioned the knobbly tires, Mitas E09s. So that's those covered, but what I also did was reduce the pressures. 26 PSI in the back, 24 PSI in the front, and that just gave me a bit more bite into that dirt. I also took the foot peg rubbers out. Now they're there to give you some more vibration damping when you ride it as a road bike. Wanted extra grip against the metal teeth on the foot pegs. So took the rubbers out of there, moved the gear lever around because I wore motocross boots on the day. So moved that up a spline to give myself some extra room for those heavier boots and also move the handlebars. In standard position, the sweep brings the bars back sort of lower and more towards the rider, but for a day of riding like that, I wanted to be stood up, which meant I wanted a bit more rise on the bars and also wanted them a bit further forward. So I undid the handlebar clamps, rotated them towards the front of the bike to give me more room in that position. Then I had to move the mirrors to suit that so I could still see what was going on behind. There was also the small matter of three and a half hours of cleaning. It's back to something like the condition it was in before. But I think it's probably going to take a few more cleans to get it to where I really want it to be. So yeah, that's what I did to make it ready for a day out in the dirt. Great day it was, really enjoyable. So now let's get it back to road trim. Thanks for watching.